All right, this is AP, A, B, and B, C calculus. We're doing unit one, section two, which is defining limits and using limit notation. So this is gonna be a fairly short video because we're gonna do most of the actual operations and finding of limits in other videos, which we'll discuss towards the end of this video. So let's start with limit notation. So limit notation, uh, a double-sided limit, which is generally the default of a limit, right? Um, looks like this, it is the limit of f of x, so the limit of the thing inside here, as x approaches a, right? So as x approaches a. Sometimes you'll hear it in the opposite order, where we'll say the limit as x approaches a of f of x it doesn't entirely matter uh, if you switch, let me just underline for a sec, it doesn't entirely matter if you switch um, this and this, right? So the, the limit as x approaches a of f of x, or the limit of f of x as x approaches a. Uh, this is sort of more conventional, but it's fine, okay? So we'll also see one-sided limits. So this is a double-sided limit, which is sort of the default. A left-sided limit has this little minus as sort of in the exponential spot, it's a negative, uh, after the a. So this is read the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left. That's what that minus means, okay? Now a itself could be a negative number, right? You could have x approaching a negative seven from the left, right? So this would be the number negative seven but this minus would be from the left, okay? Um, similarly, you'll see with a, with a plus sign down here, right? So I could have this plus sign here, right? So again, that means from the right. And we're gonna talk about what this visually looks like on a graph uh, in another video or two. Uh, so again, that, that plus sign means from the right. And again, you could be approaching a negative number from the right, right? I could pick negative three from the right. This negative, would mean the number negative three, right? But this plus sign means from the right. So it's that number that's in the exponential spot, like that superscript, right? So that number that's a superscript, uh, or that, that sign rather that's a superscript, that decides whether it's from the left or from the right. All right, so um, let's talk about what a, a limit fundamentally is. So what I will say about my experience in calculus, and I'm obviously a calculus teacher, so it's something that I clearly enjoy, or I would hope so, um, when I was in 12th grade, I struggled a lot with the very first thing we covered in calculus, which was limits. It was abstract and my brain just couldn't wrap my head around it. And I remember by my recollection, failing my first quiz. Uh, I probably didn't fail. Like I probably got a B or a C and my high school brain just decided that was failing uh, because it was math and whatever. But what I remember is not understanding what a limit was. And I remember going to see Mrs. Brown after school and saying, hey, I feel really stupid. I used to be good at math. I don't understand this. And essentially what she said to me is that a limit is just a Y value. I'm looking for an output of the function. So when you evaluate a limit, your response should be a Y value or, or an output because sometimes Y isn't the variable that's in play, right? But an output value. So let's look at three different uh, types of limits, the three that we just talked about, and, and talk about what we're actually looking to see. So when we see, if I say the limit as x approaches four from the left of f of x, what we're saying is, what y value is the graph getting infinitely close to as the x values get infinitely close to four from the left? And again, we're gonna do a whole video talking about, uh, talking about how to visually do this from a graph, how to do it from a table. We're gonna have different videos on all these things, so don't stress. But again, fundamentally, we're saying what y value is the graph approaching? The limit as x approaches four from the right, well, that's talking about what y value we're approaching as, as the graph gets really, really close to but doesn't reach four from the right. The limit as x approaches four of f of x, well, that's the, the limit that we're approaching from both sides. And we're gonna talk about how that works, but we're saying basically as you get infinitely close to four in the x direction from both sides, right? Uh, what y value are you approaching? Again, it's a y value. And then f of four would be the algebraic concept of, hey, what happens when you plug in x equals four? That's the idea. Okay, so there are three primary ways that we're gonna see limits represented. There are some others, but let's assume that these are the three that we're gonna see most of the time. Each of them is gonna get its own video. So how can we evaluate or express limits? Okay, so, so we could see limits as, at, as tables, right? So values get closer and closer to a target value. So in this case, three is that value in the middle. And what you'll notice is the, gra uh, the table gets really, really close to three, right? It starts at 2.8, then 2.9 is a little closer to the three, and 2.99 is even closer to three, and 2.999 is even closer to three, right? So essentially, this is approaching three from the left, right? This is from the left, and not because it's physically the left on the graph, but because the x values are less than three, right? The x values are smaller than three, meaning they would be left on a number line, right? And here, 
three, so, so here we start at 3.2 and then 3.1 and 3.01 and 3.001. Well, these values are getting closer and closer to three from the right. So these are from the right. Okay, uh, x greater than three is what we mean by from the right. Okay, so what's happening is essentially, if you'll notice, what's happening to these y values, and we're going to do a whole video on these, it's going to be video 1.04, uh, right? Is if you look, the y values on this side are clearly approaching a six, and the y values on this side are also getting closer and closer to the number six. So you can see from a table what y values you're approaching, and we're going to talk about what happens if these are different y values, etc. Um, when we talk about the graphing, right, and we're going to do a whole video on this, the easiest way to do it is to pretend that there's a little stick figure on the graph walking towards a value, right? So if I wanted to ask you about uh, the limit as x approaches, I don't know, let's just say negative 1, right? A guy just to the left of the curve, walking on the curve, right, would be approaching a y value of 3. A guy just to the right of the curve, walking on the curve, would also be approaching a y value of 3. So, so that's my left and my right limit, and we're going to talk about this. And then the last way that you might see limits is you're going to see them uh, written in, a, in an algebraic expression, right? So the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x plus 5, uh, and we'll talk about how to do that. So again, that's, that's three of the videos that we have coming up, uh, and that's kind of this basic intro to limit notation.